everyone old black dude here so generally you'll see me uh live streaming playing some games out my steam library uh doing some playthroughs of games i haven't done before but today i have a obs tip uh this tip is for people who are just starting out live streaming games uh whether it's on twitch or youtube wherever wherever you're doing it <clears throat> so i'm gonna show you how to create a death counter and this tip is how to create a death counter without having to download anything, right? You just want something without having to download any kind of program or anything. So let's get right into it. Um, so the first thing you want to do is you want to open up OBS. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open up OBS. And you can see I have my OBS here. This is all my scenes and everything. You want to go to the scene that you are going to be working in and you want to create a text file now this text file is going basically going to be your death counter so you want to name it whatever you want your death counter to be named so i already have a death counter so let me go ahead and add this text file right here and as you can see i already have a death counter so i'm going to name this one new death counter hit ok Right, and then right here on this screen, just press OK, and now you have that. Okay. All right. So the next step is you want to go to the OBS uh, script directory. Okay. So uh, once you get to the script directory, and I'll link the directory uh, below, so you can just copy and paste it uh, and go straight there. Uh, once you get there. Uh, so this is step two. Step two, you want to open, create a new text document. Okay, so create a new text document. Again, you want to name this new text document uh, whatever you want your de death counter to be. Uh, specifically, you should name it whatever you named the death counter in OBS. So I'm going to name this one new death counter. Okay, once you have that named, you want to go ahead and save it. And step number three is to uh, go to this website. Okay, so it's a GitHub website. And again, I'll copy the link in the description below. But you just want to go here. And I found this uh, a while back. And thanks to this person right here. Um, and you can go down here. They have this script here. And... Uh, here on the website, it tells you how to use it. Um, if you want to just go to the website and do it, um, you know, do it yourself. Um, or you can continue this video and I'll show you how to do it. Um, but yeah, just go down to the bottom and copy everything here. Okay. And once that's copied, now you go back to the text file you just created. Okay, open that text file. Let me pull that over and paste it in the new text file, in the blank text file. Okay. Okay. Once that's done, now you want to go to File and Save As. Uh, when it comes up to Save It, this is uh, the important part. You want to change Save As Type. You want to change that. You, want, you don't want to save it as a text document. At this point, you want to change it to All Files. And at the end of it, you want to change it to .lua. So just make sure that uh, OBS can read it as a script. Okay. Then you hit save. And now you saw that populated here, new death counter .lua. All right. So the next step is to go to OBS. Okay. So I can close that out. Um, do that let's okay now let's pull this over let me pull this over now you can see my obs and go to tools let's make this a little bit bigger go to tools go to scripts okay go to this plus sign here as you can see i have some other scripts here and now open the new death counter dot lua okay open that up okay once that's open, now you want to look over here 
text source. So text source, text source is the text um, source that you just created in OBS in step number one. Okay. So you're going to name that the same thing as the text source. So new death counter. Okay. Text format or format text. This is what will come up on screen as for the death counter. So we'll name this, we'll just say deaths, right? So you put deaths, then it'll say deaths. If you want to say death count, then it'll have death count. So however you want to do it, that's what this uh, part is for. Um, the up and down buttons, of course, just change the death count up and down. Okay, I'll show you how to key bind that in just a moment. Uh, start number, you want to change that to zero. So to start, num well, you can change that, you know, if you want it, you want to start it at zero from the beginning of the game. If you need to change it, you know, you can. And then the step number is one, so it only goes up one and down one. Okay, once that's done, you click OK. And from there, I will show you how to do the uh, key bindings. So go to File. Let me go back, do it a little slower. Go to File, Settings, Hotkeys. Okay. Uh, once you get in the hotkeys, you can just type in Counter. If you type in counter, you should be able to find it and create hotkeys for it. Um, once you have the death counter created, now you can uh, make changes to it if you want to. So you can go into here, or you can select the font, uh, you can change the color, right? Maybe you, want it to, maybe you want it to be like red, right? And then you can change the opacity, right? Um, you can, you know, gradient, you know, all kinds of things. Now you can make it how you want it and tailor it to your stream okay and that is how you create a death counter in obs um, let me know if you want any other tips uh, as you can see i had some other counters in there like for wins losses when i'm playing street fighter and the timer you know for starting the stream and stuff like that so if this was helpful for you then let me know give this video a like and subscribe to the channel, come back and see some more tips, or come back and see the live stream of me playing uh, some games that I haven't that I haven't played before. So uh, thank you for watching, and you have a great day. Peace.